Good morning, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace Corporation. And in this week's planning and forecasting segment, we're dealing with the last point on the series of all metrics that small businesses must monitor. Uh, and so this week's topic is about dependence on financing sources. And by this, I mean, are you dependent on the use of a line of credit? Are you dependent on an investor? Uh, are you uh, dependent on any other kind of loans, whatnot, or are you dependent on one single customer? In all my years as a CPA, uh, I would say over half of the businesses that I came to know all got started um, because they got a deal with one customer and then they uh, built a company around that. Uh, and the, the true entrepreneurs took that opportunity and built real companies and others uh, 10, 20 years later are still dependent uh, upon that company. They were just essentially uh, independent contractor employees of that client and they were completely uh, controlled by that client, never able to break out and build a business. So, um, so I guess to some point, uh, the question on your dependence on financing sources is, do you have a business or do you just have an arrangement? Uh, because uh, ultimately a business uh, becomes a stabilized, <clears throat> self-regenerating uh, organi organization uh, where its revenues uh, keep the engine going. That's the new gas and the fuel every day or every month that, that, that fuel the engine and, uh, and it actually grows. If you're doing 75, 80, 90 percent of your revenues with one organization, uh, you basically own your own job at that point, but you're very beholding to the, to the one client. And frankly, those situations never end well. They may go on for years and years, but they never end well. Uh, so you need to engage in planning and forecasting and expand th the business. And there's nothing evil about these customers. Y you know, it's just, um, you know, you're dependent upon them and dependence dictates certain behaviors. Uh, and it, those behaviors will not be indicative of a thriving business. Alternatively, if you are relying upon a particular investor for constant new inflows of capital um, or on a line of credit uh, going up and down, these are also situations. Now, many organizations start out new and um, they have investors come along and you and the investor are working the plan uh, and, and if this is all part of the plan and that there is a plan for for the dependence upon that capital to end uh, at a future date just say less than two years you know work your plan especially because you can you've got all these other metrics uh, on customer growth uh, and things of that nature gross margin and so with those kind of metrics you can actually anticipate when you will cease to depend upon uh, new investor cash flows. Uh, lines of credit, alternatively, um, you are now dependent upon that financial institution. The financial institutions, um, uh, they change over time. Uh, and almost always, their, uh, their intentions change um, you know, when you least expect it and, and when you most need it. You know, I myself have been in a situation where um, had lines of credit um, you know, canceled you know, right at the beginning of a financial crisis, uh, and and many business owners have had this. So so know your financial institution, communicate with them often, and make sure you understand uh, their changing uh, credit policies and how it may impact you. So all of this is um, somewhat technical. Um, if you need some help looking at it, uh, just give us a holler. We're happy to dig in and help you take a look. So thanks for watching.